Welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is Voxel Tank. Normally 99 cents, purchased for 54. You'll have to believe me that the game is called Voxel Tank because the title screen appears to be disagreeing. One flew over the tank's nest. I know, that sounds more interesting than Voxel Tank. There's no options, there's no anything, so let's start tanking. Oh god, uh, excuse me, sir, I believe your select screen appears to be sideways. Oh, hello. Who needs sound effects when you shoot? I mean, really. So it's Smash TV with Tonks. I think I can deal with this. What happens if I run into him? I'm, here. I'm a good tank driver. Let's go. I said there was a mission this way. I did it! So you just go around killing tanks, I guess. Woke. Oh my god! There's an activist! It kind of just looks like the machine gun is worthless. If I could just do that. The dodges. I kind of wish there were sound effects for when they hit me so I'd know I took damage. Oh my god. Okay, there. for the second level, this is a little... crazy. Catastrophic tank failure. Happens to the best of us, really. Why? The movement is a little too slow. Yes, I know tanks are kind of slow in general, but still. I feel like this guy is not tanking at maximum tank. Tank! It's... Surprisingly more strategic than it is action. You kind of have to plan everything out. Again, guys, tank, look, you can move around in so many different directions. You can move up, you can move down. Oh god! He's learning! One enemy left, and I'm pretty sure I know the brilliant strategy for this. Check this out. I learned this through years of running tank games. I'm so good at this. Why am I fighting these things? I feel like they could just sort of take care of themselves. Whoa! Oh god, what? Apparently that's a one-way path. Weren't there some skulls on the character select screen? Are those bosses? Oh god, please tell me this game has bosses. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that they can see and hit you far before you can see and hit them. Alright, we're gonna be an active tank. Active tank, hey! Active tank! Active tank, I tell you! I active terrible. I'm gonna play up to when we get to one of those skulls, because I just have a feeling it's a boss. I need to know what the bosses in this game are like, because honestly the gameplay isn't really holding me. It's not awful, but it's just sort of... It's one of those games that you can only describe as being just sort of there, you know? No! Tank! And just like that, my health was gone. Again, the problem is the fact that the other tanks can see and hit you so much easier than you can see and hit them. Got it! I got one whole Captain Marvel insignia. Is this the boss? This is looking sort of boss-ish. Again, can we just observe this for a minute? So the AI is just programmed to, uh, drive into walls, and drive straight at you. Oh, I exploded, but one. Well, what? Wait, is this the boss? Okay, clearly this is the boss. Boss fight. So, the question is, is Voxel Tank worth a dollar? Ugh, I'm gonna have to say no. Again, it's not awful. It, the controls are okay. And it's always fun to shoot things in games like this. The problem is, one, the AI is really stupid, 
It just follows you straight on. And yet the AI is also overpowered in that it can hit you so far before you hit it. It just makes the game unbalanced and not that fun to play. Plus, the game seems really short. Apparently there's only like, what, what was that, 15, 20 levels? Yeah, I'm sure you can find a better tank game on Steam. Let's pick up Steel Battalion. I'm pretty sure that's slightly more than a dollar. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more regular gaming content from shows such as Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, and The Brian J Presents. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.